Well, hello. Okay, look, um, I lost a little bit of footage, I'm afraid. About an hour. I don't know where I put it. I'm going to search down the back of the sofa later on. But to be totally honest with you, it wasn't that great. It was basically an hour spent watching me run around building things to build the reactor, which we're going to start talking about right at the start. It's big, it's bold, it's powerful, and it makes me lots of electricity. It was fun to do on the live stream, but it was probably going to be a little bit boring. So, let's move on, shall we, and carry on with today's episode. And since the last time, I've made a few changes over the week. Um, the first one is being, I've put some cooling into the reactor. And incidentally, I got the reactor working. And the reason why this reactor wasn't working, this is great. It's because when I built this reactor, I put it on a stand, and I put this on a stand like this, but I made these blocks out of reactor blocks. And you cannot have a reactor with blocks within reactor blocks within one block of a reactor. It doesn't work. It, it doesn't make a reactor. That's why it wasn't working. So here we go. We have a working reactor now. Okay, and... Let's just have a quick look in here. It is at the moment producing 354 RFs a tick, which is considerably more than we use. And to do that, it's using 0.24 um, uh, uh, millibuckets of two of a uh, <laughs> word fuel. That's the word fuel. It's working 100%. It's not very warm. And as you can see, we're just about ticking over. We've got just about the right sort of power coming out of this. So the problem with this is we're using too much of this stuff. This is Yellorium. This is the, the fuel that goes into the rod, the yellow fuel. And what we want... It, and uh, we're not making enough of that in order to to run this properly so I'm gonna have to come back to this fairly soon and make an even more powerful reactor which is gonna be fun so uh, actually just let me bring the chat up it's partially obscured there we go right okay so that's that's something we'll have to be doing soon we will be making that uh, a far more efficient reactor incidentally Okay, if we look at the fuel rod here at the top, right, we are, okay, we've withdrew this fuel rod by 70%, so we're actually only using about 30% of the, the, the potential power that this thing can could produce. But that's good because, you know, we're, we're using less fuel. So, that's going to be a concern fairly soon, but there's a couple other things I want to look at before I do that. And... But let me just show you some of the things that I've done while um, between episodes because I play this for fun as well, you know. This is Shrine to Satan. <laughs> oh, it's a nuclear reactor. Okay, um, and, uh, those of you who have seen this game before will know that uh, I what I had here is no longer here. I've taken stripped it all out and I've replaced it here. And this is where all the small machines are going to live. So we've got a small pulverizer, an energetic infuser. An induction smelter, a magma crucible, fluid transposers, you know, the bits and pieces. As we make small machines, they can just live here, and that will be fine. Okay, um, one other thing I've had to do is I've, I've had to start expanding the barrel selection, because we're, we are now storing too many things. So... Uh, that, that row of barrels was not enough to store everything in. As a result, we're starting to work on the back side of that, and somewhere I'm just going to do a bit of design to extend the warehouse here. Alright, so that's that lot. Um, I've moved all this. I'll show you where in a second, but let's go over and have a look at the farm, because I want to get out of this lag for a sec. Okay, there we go. Oh, out of lag. Excellent. Alright. Um, breeding trees. We've found another piece of wood type which is this one. This is apple wood, which is a nice yellow color. I quite like that one. Uh, but I'm gonna have to review this whole thing fairly soon and perhaps redesign it completely. But we'll come back to that in a minute. And look, I'm starting to get ender lilies. 
I was originally growing these over here on on the dirt and they were growing incredibly slowly but once one of them finally grew up I could um, smelt down the the uh, the ender pearl in, in the smelter and cut, use that to cover a block of obsidian to make some end blocks so what I'm slowly going to do here is I'm just going to replace all the potatoes I'm growing here with uh, ender lilies and just start growing a large selection of those for a little bit the other thing I've done here is I've got rid of the I've got I've got rid of the um, uh, rubber trees because I've just had too many of them too much rubber so I'm starting to grow some oak trees instead okay so what else do I do I need to build a, bird, uh, a chicken coop around here because I took the old one down I've got loads and loads of eggs to put in into it but what I want to do today is I want to do something about this guy here okay um, this thing has been working really really well for me for ages but there's more we can do with it and I also want to get all this stuff out of the central square because I want to make this pretty in a bit but uh, it's it's a bit of a mess at the moment so we're going to be looking at that and what I want to do is I want to extend the killing area down to here so we're going to clear all this stuff out and uh, build a new one. We're going to build a, a better resource collection thing in there anyway. But before we do that, just let me show you all this. Okay, this is where I moved all the gravel and that production to. So this is where the igne igneous extruder has come to. Uh, ooh. Oh, I see. That's okay. Right. Um, so now what happens is that creates. Um, cobblestone, the cobblestone goes into these two that makes gravel the gravel goes into this chest here which then goes on to the sifters when that chest fills up the gravel comes across to this one which turns it into sand the sand goes into this chest here until that chest is full up <laughs> uh, that shouldn't be like that let me there we go oh take that off there we go that's what I wanted yeah that's right okay and the same deal it comes in here this makes dust and the dust goes into the sifter and this one is really really important because it's this dust this this dust sifting that makes us the yellurium and it's the yellurium that makes us the fuel so getting this one working is really 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 important okay and at the same time I moved that um, obsidian generator down to here and the the pipe goes down comes back up here somewhere and goes into the system and the luggage has a new hiding place it likes hiding down here in the fire <sighs> okay that's the luggage for you so there you go that's all a bit tighter compactor and neater now oh and the lag is killing me in that area I'm just waiting for the day, well it's happened at once on one occasion anyway, fortunately I had the jetpack on, but the lag has taken me over the edge which was depressing. Oh, and that's that's the pool I've created out of clear glass to put some water in for the aqueous accumulators. That's I've got another use for that, that's why it's there, but I do love the view. Look at that. It's great isn't it? <laughs> okay, one other thing. Those of you guys who've seen, been following my story here, just listen. Yeah. It's quiet. I can't remember the last time it was quiet in this game. Because we're not using these... These horrible, horrible, horrible um, explosive reactors anymore. But they're still sitting here, they're still full up, they're still fully charged. And so if I ever need to turn them on, I just need to connect them up to the grid and away they go. So, yes. So happy. Alright, okay, so that's that. Let's get on and do some stuff. Okay, so... The first thing I want to do here is I want to extend that down here. And 
that's fairly easy to do. Let's just make some space first. So, yeah, that's the, that's one corner, and I think the other corner is here. No, it's not. That was a bad idea. Oh, let me. There we go. Right, that was a bad idea. Okay, let's go up and fix that. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, I see. Right, okay. So that was that corner. Let's do it from up here. It'll probably be easier to tell. And that corner. That corner. And that corner. There we go. That'd be easier to do things now. Okay, so I want to get some stuff out of the way. And we'll do that. Just get these chests and that out of the way. Uh, where's my dolly? There it is. So move these quickly. Can I not? Mo I can't move them. Oh, that's going to be so frustrating. I think they can stay there for a bit then. I'll sort those out later. We'll just move these over to here for now. Like this. And like this. And get some of this junk out of the way. Don't need any of this anymore. So let's get rid of that presser. Get rid of that crafting station. Oh, I had some stuff in it. All right. And let's build this down. So what I want to do first is get hold of some oak wood. So let's go and get some of that out of the barrels. And I was always in the chorus in my schools and played the drums for a while. Yeah, sounds like fun. All right. Uh, oh, yes, I had to replace all the cobblestone we were storing with compressed cobblestone because we just had too much of it and I don't want to throw any of it away. Uh, compressed cobblestone you make by um, putting. Uh, nine cobblestone in a grid. That's not. That's not oak. Where's my oak? Where's my oak? Uh, okay, that's rubber wood. Thought I'd make an oak. Did I not? Uh, there's oak there. can't see it. Perhaps I didn't make one after all. Just let me check the other side again just to make sure I'm not going mad. That's spruce. No. All right, well we'll just have this then. Okay, fine. That'll do nicely. That's probably more than I need anyway. Okay, so we need to go down the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to extend this down. All right, so we'll take a quarter of that. That'll give us a stack of oak. Just put that in the bar. We'll just bring these down to the floor here. Like this. Get rid of this stuff. We'll just clear this out like that. Brilliant. And we'll just get these down to the floor. Like that. Oh, come on. We're doing that deliberately now. So clear this out. There we go. Uh, no. 
uh, we'll leave that one there. But these need to go. Just replace all this by oak along three sides, and we're ready to go. Like that. Okay, so let's get the oak down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, the lag is making me put blocks slightly in the wrong place because uh, I'm moving between me clicking and the game registering, which is really frustrating. But never mind. Um, thank, thank, thank. Uh, let's get rid of this one. It's an excuse to level up these things anyway. Uh, let's just finish this all off. That one was just me. So the way uh, so what's the chat up to at the moment while we're doing this it's not an action game anymore so I can concentrate on what you guys are talking about I'm horrible at singing band is better for me oh, okay we're all sure you're not that bad okay actually let's take that one off take that one in fact, we'll do the same over here as well. Like this, like this, like this, like this. And let's get some slabs down to make this look neat. Don't think anything is spawned down there. I just like making it look neater. So we'll just put some slabs down the bottom here. Like that. Okay, so now what we need to do is get what we have for people crashing down here. So let's just it's just going to be so much easier just to build that again to be totally honest with you so let's just do that so we want two chests and four hoppers and then we want some stuff to kill the mobs on when they hit so let's just build the stuff in fact I'm wondering do we have any hoppers floating around first oh yeah I updated these chests this one's at a crystal chest this one is an obsidian chest I don't know why I did it I just felt like doing it one hopper yay well, that's one less I have to make and uh, none in there okay right so let's make some hoppers let's make some chests I want five chests and I need some space in my inventory by the looks of it so let's just clear some stuff out here uh, where did I get buttered potato from good lord alright okay <laughs> I don't want to know um, cheese get rid of that crafting station oh two chests already that's good so I want to make three chests that's good get rid of that glowstone all right oh dear fake friends eh that's not good all right So I'm gonna need three. Yeah, I'm gonna need three more chests. One, two, three. Get rid of this jungle wood. All right, and where's my iron? Any old iron? Any old iron? Any any old? There we go. One, two. All right, that's gives us three hoppers, two chests, and now what we want is a killing device. Now, ran into this a little while ago, which is a variation on the um, punji sticks that we're using at the moment. And what this does is it actually acts like it's you killing it. It's actually the player killing it. So this will um, allow us to collect experience from this as well which is going to be interesting I think so let's do this shall we all right so we want invar swords two three that's gonna you're gonna need three sticks let's just make some sticks like this three in our stores and we're going to want a excuse me we're going to want a block of invar ore 
Uh, what do I put? There we go. Right. Um, right. So that. So that goes there. I think it's this, wasn't it? So no, no, that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. And that. Yep. Yeah, that gives us four invar spikes. So there is our. There's our new um, killing area sorted out. So let's just go and get that sorted. So we go to the bottom here. We'll put down the chests first. Like that. Don't want that connection there. There we go. And the hoppers are going to want to go into here. Dow! You fool! Let's do it this way. Okay, like that. And like that. Okay, and that's, that's going to furry to the front. And then we put the invar spikes on top of those, just like we had the punji sticks before. So there we go. Looks like that's. Get out! Just come on, come on, out, out, out. Yeah, there you go. All right, and stay out. No, out. Okay, so let's uh, block this up a little bit to keep certain nosy. Uh, luggage is out like that like that okay and now if we go up to the top and we take out the existing hoppers then things should just drop through to the bottom let's see how that works 